What's going on YouTube? Donnie with DER Reptiles here. So today I cleaned out my rat tubs and I got great news. I looked very well at the tub right here. My trouble tub or my troublemaker's tub. No chew marks, no nothing. So that tub is going to work. So I got to get six more of them or five more of them and that problem will be fixed. The others really don't chew that much, but you know, I haven't really noticed anything from the others. It's just mainly the ones that was in that tub. So that fixed my problem. Now I just got to get my snakes back to eating because I'm going through a lot of rat food. Sorry about getting dark here, but yeah, I'm going through a lot of rat food. I'm going through a 50 pound bag every week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. I would say a week and a half. So I need my snakes to pick up and start eating because the more they eat, the better off I'll be. And then I can start putting my males back in with my females. As soon as they take, as soon as they start, you know, getting their first meal, I'll put the males back in with the females. Thinking about growing up some young males and using them and retiring my males I'm using now. They're good males, but you know, it's, I don't know exactly how old they are. So I don't wanna prolong it if say I keep using them and then all of a sudden one of them dies, then that kind of throws me into a struggle. So thinking about slowly feeding them off, growing up other males. I've already got a few with my eye on because they're pretty, pretty rats. So I really don't want to feed them. But yeah, that's what I plan on doing there. And just an update on all my males, my spinner right here the guy that i don't know if he's gonna do good breeding or not or whatever's going on but he's in shed my normal male let's take a look at him i pulled him out of the super pastel today be, or after i got off work he did his job so i'm gonna bring him over here put him back in his tub there's my normal male and he's almost done for the year. My spinner's almost done for the year, too. The albino. Oh, Buck, he's still in his water tub. Seems like all my snakes are going into shed. All my males, anyway. A few of my females are. Let's go on down here to Mr. Wyatt Earp. Mr. Wyatt Earp's in his water bowl, too. So, yeah. Normally, they're not in their water bowl, so... They're definitely going in the shed. There's my old banana. I need to spot clean his. Missed that when I cleaned everybody out today. Then, old Clyde here. He must be going in the shed. He's been a picky eater here lately. My male pine, he's going in the shed. My killer bee back there, he's a beauty. I can't wait till all my males get up to size. Get them up to size and put them to work. But yeah, I'm hoping that whole rack is ready to go next season. I hope Bonnie, that girl right there, I hope she's ready to go next season. And then, of course, that girl down there, she'll never breed. I'm not going to do that to her. She, uh, she's my first pied female that I hatched out. and She's got that small kink, and I'm not, I'm not going to chance her life just to try to get eggs out of her. 
So, and then I would say in about two years, two and a half maybe, all them girls there will be ready to go. And uh, that's about all I got today. There's not a whole lot going on. I spent about two, two and a half hours after work cleaning and all that. Oh, here, let's update you on this little girl here. Or should I say big girl? This is the normal possible hep pod girl that went through ovulation. So she's going into shed, I think. So cross your fingers. Hopefully in about, oh, five weeks, we'll be doing an egg pulling video. And then in 30 days after that, we'll be doing an egg cutting video. I'm excited about that. That's, hopefully that's my first of two clutches this year. Uh, but I'm hoping my big super pastel girl will go and give me some eggs. If nothing else, I'll get full pastels out of her. There she is back there. She's huge. But, yeah. That's about all I got for today. Um, if you're not subscribed to him already, head on over and see Snake Dad. He's doing a giveaway right now. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can watch his video. The video I believe he just posted today. Um... Go check him out, subscribe to him, watch him, great guy. Um, just, you need to go check him out, subscribe to him. Let's make this community big. Let's bring everybody up. But anyway, he's got a giveaway going on right now. I got a giveaway going on right now. So we need to get up to 500 subscribers so we can get my giveaway going. And I might change it up a little bit. Who knows? But there is a giveaway. So 500 subscribers, we will do a giveaway. So remember, subscribe, comment, like, hit that notification bell just right over there, I think it is, or right over there somewhere, somewhere down there. Just smash it real hard. That way, whenever I upload a video every day, you'll know when I do it. That way you can watch and see what I'm up to. So... Like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. Go over to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at DER Reptiles. And I will see you tomorrow.